she said congratulations just asking why so long before deciding to get married Morning guys, um, welcome back to our channel once again. I've been loving Mark and look what's going on. Um, I already took all the bed sheets and all the pillowcases. It's here. We're going home. Because we are going home. We are trying, we will try to go back to the city house. Um, we're hoping that there will be no more um, checkpoints. Right. So yeah, they're ready. Our bags are ready. So what if there is? Then we'll, we'll come back here. So yeah, yes, it's very early in the morning. So we will try. We will try to go. And if ever they will not let us pass, then we'll get back here. All right, so ready? We oh yeah, bring those bags there now outside the car. The car? Sure. Warren, ready now? Are you ready, Warren? I'm ready. Okay, go now. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> we're, we're, we're so close to the checkpoint. Oh, uh, see, it's checkpoint because people at the, the cars are stopping. Oh, let's see. It's supposed to be over. So. They lie, they don't tell you, so you don't know what's going on. Right. So guys, what if we cannot go to the house? What are we, we gonna go do? Go back to the farm. Bing. We will go back to the farm. Well let's Bing. see if you see anybody turning around. Then you, you don't like the farm like anymore? The yeah, I like the house. Look at the <laughs> You see anybody turning around, hey? I can't see. Pa. Pa, kita ka siya, dili, no? no, can't see. They're just asking questions, then. Yeah, I think I have to prepare this one. I'm, br I'm bringing our um, lease contract agreement, guys, for the house. Tanaw na to iba sig sa Westwoods, ni? Patay na. See what they say. It doesn't look like the police is there. Get your mask on. This is a serious checkpoint yes. today. So we're slowing down. Okay, it's so ready, guys. And then we have a sticker. Well, let's see what they say. People are turning. I can't tell. I'm scared. You know, they really should let some people know what's going on. If they're going to extend it, they need to tell them. They don't need. They need to tell them the day before. Happy we day, Rel. We made it. <laughs> we made it. Oi, Bing, where are you, Bing? Oi, so busy eating, Bing. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're off to the city house. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the problem is none of our IDs show that we live here. Mm. Wait, wait, mga ID. I see. You, Shainam, ka ID, Shaino. Pagkutotan? Na ay mo gidawa. Oh. Sh Shaimi has a, a barangay ID. ID. <laughs> but pagkutotan though, it's not city. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't work. They send us back to Pusatong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They say they would send us back. So contract lease is fine. Yeah. Morning night. Morning night. Oh, bless Nanai! Bless Nanai! Mm -hmm. Bless na ka, Nanai, Bing? Are you dead? Mm -hmm. Hug na ka, Nanai, Bing? <laughs> oh, your slipper. You miss Nanai? Huh? Nanai. You, miss, you miss Nanai? No. Nine. Daga na siya dito. Nine. Isa? My, my slipper is broken. Ah, may usahan mo. Ang dami 
Oh, well, you have another one, the I Bing. Oh. Guys, off to the bank. We just dropped the kids home. And we're up again for another checkpoint. We don't know where. But the bank is at Pavia. I think there might there might be a checkpoint in Pavia. We in have to Pavia. Go through. They're not really checking people going outside the city. They're only checking people coming in. So I don't know what they'll consider if we're leaving Haro going into Pavilia. If they, I don't know if they consider that going in, into the city or outside the city. We'll see. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna let you know later. A few moments later. So guys, we're done in the bank. So luckily, there's no problem with the checkpoints. Uh, Mark said he noticed that these guys are not checking here at least here um, They're not checking so strict with the people maybe because um, It's not confirmed that they're gonna extend the lockdown. They're still waiting for the um, confirmation from the IATF so Since today is the first they don't know yet. So they're kind of like on a standby mode. So right now, um, what, where are we going? Maybe back to the house. Yeah. Back to the house, and then um, we'll we will head back to the farm. He has a visitor this afternoon from CP. That is the shrimp, our partner, the our supplier, sh baby shrimp supplier, feed supplier. So guys, we just want to. Um, acknowledge um, our subscriber actually she is a new subscri subscriber um, her name is Belen, Belen Trost I think she is from the US so she commented in one of our old video which is when we um, got married um, civil, our civil wedding um, she said congratulations just asking why so long before deciding to get married yeah it took us nine years to get married um, it's all because of different situation <laughs> mark own he owned a business in Cebu and um, that business is too hard huh? for well, you to come and go and well there was a couple of reasons why I, we didn't get married right away. Yeah, and that's one. Avina is my, my, my second marriage, by the way. Yes. And when I first came to Cebu, I, I was married. Correct. And I started a call center business in, in, in Cebu. Um, I had bring my American wife here with our special needs. We have one special needs boy. Right. And, and, and together. And she absolutely hated the Philippines. <laughs> you can't blame her. <laughs> uh, she was here for about two to three months, and then decided to leave with Eric, my my special needs boy. First son. Back, back 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 to the to the U.S. So when she left, um, well, I mean, we didn't we we were we pretty much were separated at that time. We weren't getting along and. And she wasn't happy here, and I was starting a new business, and had it, and needed to, a way to support my my family. Her and your yeah, um, her and my my special need my special needs boy. So that really complicated things because I had she was a stay-at-home mom because of the special needs boy, mm -hmm. and she needed. Uh, she needed income to, to 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 live, and with me being so far away, and the relationship not being it didn't uh, work. Well, it didn't work. So she was very unsecure about her financial future. So she had decided that I was not to be trusted, and she decided that she was going to try to go after assets that she didn't really belong to her. Um, and just because she was scared of her future. So we fought and we fought and we fought and 
I think it took time for her to realize that hey this is the situation Mark is not really a bad, bad guy and I, I of course yeah I support he did, her yeah, he did in not the, stop the support right always sending money right I'm all, well I send a lot I won't yeah. discuss about how much because it's a lot <laughs> but that was never really an issue so then she found another husband which was good and I think once that happened we kind of she she came to the point where well I think I'm trusting Mark to, to, to pay for to help pay raising our child together and I then made a decision okay I was gonna give her some assets because she had no way to make any money and she needed to take care of the, Your son. the my son so I I had we had uh, agreed to come up with some trust and put assets in my son's name. And so it took time to get to get that organizer and to, and to, and to get the trust developed uh, where she was agreeable. It took time too because you're here. Well, yeah, then I can't go back yeah. back and forth and to, take to, care to, of that stuff. To, to build a relationship. <laughs> To make sure that my ex-wife is trusting me yeah to not, to not fight right so it took about nine years and then what the the final the final thing where, it, where what happened was is we were in Thailand together right and I had been putting it off putting it off putting it off and when I came when we came back from Thailand the immigration officer said sir you've been here in the Philippines too long I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you back in. Oh yeah. Because I had yeah, already yeah, been yeah. here for like, I don't yes. know, four or five years on a tourist visa or yeah. something like that. You always go out the, um, from the Philippines and then though, come, and back, come in, back in. Come back in. So he started to give me a hard time, and I'm going, wow, what's why why what's, why now why now why now <laughs> what's the what's the well, because the the rule here is a tourist visa you can stay for three years and if you leave the country come back in mm -hmm. they give you another three years to extend so I wasn't really worried about it but after that after the, that that incident that incident <laughs> I decided well I better I better take care of that situation and so I decided okay I had already worked everything out with my ex-wife and we were just going to do a simple divorce because we had already agreed everything and right. we, we already decided okay everything goes to my son Eric that the the assets that we had together so it was really easy um, so I had gone back to the US and done our divorce in, in, in uh, Las Vegas because it's really easy it only takes about a month and I had been using my dad's address because I've been living here in the Philippines and not living anywhere in the U.S. Thanks to dad. Thanks to dad. And uh, I Almira. pretty much, my, my, my U.S. residence is in Nevada. Yeah. So I went back for Christmas and was gone until February of right. last year. Right? right. February of last year, right before COVID happened. <laughs> right during COVID. And got the divorce done and then when I came back I, we got married right away with a civil wedding because we needed to make sure that I was married to her so immigration doesn't give me any hard time and I could work on the permanent residency and that's that's basically the story in a nutshell <laughs> <laughs> yes guys so should I say thank you to the immigration <laughs> probably oh. Hi sir, good, good morning. morning. Galing kami sa ano sa BDO. BDO. Oh, oh pa-uwi na kami sa Pertorial. Okay, Thank you, good. Good morning. Good morning. I can't tell if he was waving me or trying to stop me. I think it was like a combination, right? Yeah, he goes like this and yeah. then stop. <laughs> Maybe because I don't know what's the sign, but he said like that, <laughs> so we stopped anyway. Maybe he saw the camera and wanted to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. So yeah, that's the story why it took us nine years to get married. It doesn't. Um, it's not like. Uh, Basic. Mark, 
Yeah, basically I was separated. Yes. When we uh, when I met Avine. He's got packages. Bag yeah, I had packages <laughs> that are and then and then it took it took nine years to to work to clear it, it out and to work it, it probably out. would have been faster if I was living in the United States to get everything settled. But because I was living so far away, yeah, it was difficult. With the business, it's hard with, to... Well, it was difficult with the business. It's difficult with the ex-wife to trust me because I'm not able to, to talk to her and and and, and reassure her that, hey, things are going to be okay. Mm -hmm. um, so it took, it took some time. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the story. So... Um, so for those who are following us, yeah, that's that's how, and that's why nine years is for for you guys. Yeah, nine years is too long, and I didn't really care about it because I know that Mark is not going anywhere. I was already sure that he's staying with me. <laughs> so, <laughs> right? I didn't push you, right? Well, I'm not the type of guy that gets things done really fast. I'm kind of like the government. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I move a little slow. Because I know him, even even if like uh, right we're now, not married. Right. And then um, I kind of sure that yeah, maybe he'll leave me, but he won't. He won't leave my kids. Well, so he'll still be supporting my kids. I know that from 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 just um, being with him. And him sending um, support to to his his ex-wife and to his kid in the U.S. I'm sure I was sure that he won't screw screw up with us. Well, I can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> I better not. I better not screw up. <laughs> so it's yeah. too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys. So hope we answer that question from mom belen trust so yes we are on our way to the house and um i think we're just gonna get some stuff our clean clothes maybe nana i already finished um washing some and then we can take it to the farm um the kids will be left in the house this time because they don't <laughs> they're tired they're tied in the farm already so they wanted to go home and yeah that's it so for you guys who are following us um you you are free to suggest any topics whatever you want to know about us feel free to comment down below in this in the comment section and uh we will answer your questions and also make videos regarding whatever you want to know so something to say more no no that's it thank you baby okay, okay. thank you so much <laughs> so guys see you later oh there's another checkpoint here no i think it's just a traffic guy okay because i see armies there <laughs> i see armies everywhere oh there's vaccines 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 see loading vaccines oh yeah so this is the central philippine university you're in vaccines oh. the old lady Nana. Nana, she dropped a coin in the middle of the street and she was crossing and almost ran her over. <laughs> that would ruin my day. Yeah. I think it ruined her day too. <laughs> Hope you suck for one basal coin. Yeah, one basal coin. <laughs> Should have left that damn coin. How's the Trixie? How's the Trixie? You miss us, huh? You miss this girl? You miss us? Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> you want loving, loving? You want loving, loving? You want loving, loving? I'm so happy, guys, because look at my plants. They're all beautiful. So, I miss ko silang bahat. They are all doing good, colorful, and they're just beautiful. Tingnan nyo nga guys, oh. even Mark was so happy to see. Pagkarating talaga namin dito sa bahay, 
Ito yung first na na-notice niya. So, yung mga halaman ko. They're all colorful. Yan. It's so nice. The house is full of plants. And even, even the, the, what's this? The Mayana, the coleus plant, the cutting that we brought from the farm. Malalaki na sila. And then we even have a pineapple here. Look at the pineapple. It's already big. Namunga na siya, guys. There, pineapple. May pineapple na tayo. And then the calamansi. It's growing. Yeah, mataas na siya. And that's a tanglad. Dami ng tanglad. And look at that, guys. Ito, ito yung na-replant ko. Repotted. So, look. Look. Oh my goodness. And even here. So, yan yung ano ni nanay. Labahan ni nanay dyan. So, meron na tayong mayana dito. And then, this one. That's a baby pineapple. So, ang ginagawa namin, guys, pag bumibili kami ng pineapple, yung nasa taas, itatanim namin. So, yan yung nangyari. So, may pineapple tayo dito. And even this one is growing. These are newly repotted. And to mayroon na siya, may baby na siya. Yan, malalaki na sila, matataba. And then even this one looks so beautiful. Ang dahon nila ang lalapad ng dahon nila, guys. Yan. Ang lapad. Ang mga bugimbilya ko doon sa taas, hindi na mulaklak. So, I think we need to uh, put fertilizer para mamulaklak sila. And the bugimbilya here, they are all flowering. So, yan. Yung mga koyos natin, mga mayana, they are all doing good all the way there. So, this one, and then, ang ating Daifin Bakya. Yeah, this one, Daifin Bakya. The Dumpkin. This one is another type of Mayana. So, kung anong klase mga Mayana meron tayo sa farm, meron din tayo dito sa bahay. So, mga new cuttings to sila, dinala ni nanay, like, um, three weeks ago or a month ago. A month ago na ito sila, ang tinanim ni nanay. And look at this, another Daifin Bakya. Ang lalaki na niya. All of them are doing well. Look at our yard, it's so colorful. And this one too is liking it. And then our grass is all green. Francisco and uh, I don't mind being on adventures for a while. No, no, because the best thing about it is I know I'm coming back. Oh, oh, of all the magic places in the world, I've been.
yung front natin. And, yan. So, I'm so happy. Because even if I'm not here, my plants are doing well. Yung ika, um, yun yung importante sa akin na kahit na wala ako, at least all my plants are taken care of. Na sa pag-uwi ko dito, masaya. Masaya ang buhay. <laughs> Yan yung ano ni Mark, moto ni, Ma ni Mark. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> So, yan guys, babalik na kami doon sa farm and um, that's it for today's vlog. Um, I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take shower kasi hindi pa kami nakapag shower. Um, we left the farm very early. Like, we woke up like 5 in the morning and then prepared the kids, um, had them ready for, for the road. So, I think we left the farm like 6, around 6 o'clock. So, hindi kami nakapag-shower. <clears throat> right now, yung mga bata nakapag-shower na kami hindi pa. So, I will end this vlog here. And uh, maybe I will um, create another topic later. So, yun yung ano natin, vlog natin today. Thank you so much guys for um, always supporting and for watching us all the time. Um, from our old videos to the new videos. So, Thank you so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, um, if you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. And also hit the no notification bell so that you will be notified on our next one. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.